everybody, this is Dan Mama Sal, and it's Thursday. We know I like Thursdays. Everybody's out with walking their dogs this morning. Apparently they don't work. Um, for those of you watching the broadcast for the first time, the reason I like Thursdays is I don't work on Fridays. Well, I don't go to... <laughs> I don't go to my place of work on Fridays. Uh, it wouldn't be true to say I don't work because I do two broadcasts and <laughs> fit in a whole lot of other things as well. Um, so some days it, it gets pretty busy. Uh, but I love Thursdays. It has a great feel to it. Now, I decided to get up earlier today. Uh, I felt like a long, warm shower. So the first thing I did is I got up about half an hour earlier, no, actually probably 20 minutes earlier, and I upped the heat in the house, and then I went and had a beautiful shower. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Now you're saying, don't you normally? Well, I'd normally have quick showers, you know what I mean? And this was like, okay, let me take my time and enjoy this. It was really beautiful, hot water. And then by the time I had made my coffee and made my lunch and snacks for, for work, my hair didn't take that much extra drying, and here I am, all ready to go. So it was a, I'm trying to think of the word for it, serene, uh, was it serene? Yes, it was. You know, I'm thinking peaceful, I'm thinking no, like, it wasn't so much peaceful as it was, I was very much, yeah, I think serene would be the word for it. So, it was a serene morning, until I found out, <laughs> here I go, until I found out um, that I had run out of medication on one of my meds. Now you're going, so that's not clever. No, I know that wasn't clever. Ah, my windshield washer fluid is low. That means I should fill it up. Um, anyway, so you have to know that I especially went to the doctors on Friday and got the prescription and I put it in at the pharmacy, but I didn't want to wait. And I didn't pick it up again. Silly cell. <laughs> so, on my way home tonight, I will pick them up. Then, if I'm a bad girl, which we know I am, I could pick up some Chinese at the store. And the reason I say that is because we're doing a broadcast tonight and therefore I won't have a lot of time to cook. I'll think about that. I'll think about whether I want to spend the money on Chinese or not. Mind you, I didn't have poutine this week, so maybe I could have a takeout meal this week. Hmm. Interesting. This will please Robin. She likes it when I talk about food for some reason. <laughs> she likes the way I look when I talk about food. I, I do enjoy my food most of the time. So, uh, yeah. Chinese is beginning to sound very good. Hmm. 
a bit early to be thinking about it perhaps but definitely give it some thought you know there's a proper Chinese um, section in my supermarket I don't just mean that you can buy Chinese food boxed I mean that they're cooking it there and you can actually see them cooking it so you know it isn't you know an imaginary thing they really are cooking it in the back there <laughs> um, and so it's really fresh and really tasty and I'm really gonna have it so there I have convinced myself now all right now I have to say that by the time you guys get to hear this we're gonna be talking Black Friday For those of you in the States, which would be the majority of the viewers. And so I just want to just address this issue a little bit. Um, I think Black Friday is something that some people absolutely love. Oh, how's the river doing today? Yeah, we are really getting close. Uh, I think it's probably a good idea that I don't have to go to work tomorrow. I, we could be flooded. Um, anyway, so for those of you who love a good deal, you probably live for Black Friday. Now, personally, my worst nightmare is Black Friday. And I would like to know if any of you um, hate crowds as much as I do. <laughs> you know, it's like, so I could save 20 bucks? Ask me if I care. And the idea of having to fight my way through um, malls and rude people and still not get what I would like to get, if you know what I mean. I'm going, no, thank you. I don't think so. I don't think so. So now I've got to have people amongst the viewers who are on both sides of this. So let me know, are you a Black Friday, you know, do you live for this moment or are you a no thank you? Um, now then, we of course now have to add the new generation, uh, which is what about Cyber Monday? In fact, I would think the whole of this weekend the deals will be phenomenal online. Now, I have never done my Christmas shopping online. Um, mainly because of the shipping costs. I mean, it may be a wonderful deal on something until you find out they're going to charge you, you know, 20, 25 bucks to, to, to ship it. And you're going, that very good deal suddenly isn't such a good deal anymore. But then you've got to say to yourself, would you rather be fighting the crowds? And I guess the answer is not really, no. I really think that Black Friday and Cyber Monday are just to get us in the spirit and to put the panic in us that there's, there are not very many days left until Christmas. And if you haven't done your Christmas shopping, which we know Jen will have finished hers, but um, <laughs> you know, uh, if you haven't, then uh, the stress is about to build. I haven't even got my tree up, never mind the Christmas shopping done. But I have got some of it done, I must say. I was quite good. So, and I wonder how you guys are doing on that issue as well. Do you feel that this is a Christmas where you will be spending more money than normal or less money than normal? Now, due to circumstances, um, with the normal people that I sort of visit at Christmas. Um, I've got one set of friends who are, are 
going to the Bahamas or something. It's like, yeah, right, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, and you didn't take me with you. Um, and then I, I am going to go visit friends on Christmas Eve, so that's good. Um, so it's going to be a quieter than normal Christmas for me, which is great. I like that. Um, and so I've just got to think about, all right, what presents, if any, am I going to need to have with me? Now, the other thing is I used to always do Christmas baking with my friend, and I doubt that's going to happen this year, so... I'll have to give some thoughts about what I'm going to do about the Christmas baking, if anything. I do like making the chocolates, though. I don't know why. I really, really like making the chocolates. And the chocolate-covered marshmallows I enjoy making as well. So, we'll have to do some of those. i trying to think, um, I was listening this morning and they were saying in terms of really good deals, the, the one thing that definitely it is worth waiting for this weekend and or the post-Christmas week is for televisions. And the reason is they bought in a lot of stock, they need to get rid of a lot of stock rather than be stuck with it. So the prices really go very, very well. Now, what they were also saying was if you want a regular, you know, if you're not looking for the wonderful 72 inch that Louisiana Laurie's got, or if you're looking for just a regular um, TV, and let's think about it now. Our days of, wow, you know, you've got a 36 inch television is now, really? <laughs> Larry's got a 72 inch. Um, but you remember when 32 inches was considered, considered one a heck of a television. Uh, and so <laughs> you got to look at it and go, you know, if a 36 inch television is in your future, you probably could pick one up for next to nothing this weekend. Now, I'm saving my pennies, as you all know, to go on vacation in April. So I've, I've had this whole plan where every, every payday, I've taken whatever change was left in my purse. I allow myself, um, I, I don't know how you guys do this, but Every time I put my paycheck in, I pull out a hundred bucks. And that's my sort of play money for the, when I say play money, it's my day-to-day -day money for the next two weeks. And when I go to the bank the next time and I come back from the bank, I put whatever's left of that original hundred bucks into a tin. And that's my f sort of forced savings for Christmas and, and special things. Now normally the other thing I do, and some of you know of this because you will remember I did a, a, a video on it, which is I always take 10% of whatever I put in the bank and I put it into a special account. And that's my emergency money account. Now, it depends on your definition of emergency. My definition of emergency includes the car broke down, or, and pray God that it doesn't, uh, touch wood, um, or it's Christmas. <laughs> you know, and, I, and I haven't saved enough for Christmas. So I have this special fund that I keep stuff in. Now, I'm hoping that I will have some money left in there for uh, the trip in April and it is my goal to actually take my Christmas bonus this year and put it straight into that fund 
and um, that would be very good because then I'd be free and clear for the vacation. Which will be exciting. I have not been on vacation for so long it's not even funny. I mean, I've been on the odd trip with the trailer to do something else. Uh, but my idea of vacation is very different from a lot of people. I like to be on vacation and sit and do nothing. <laughs> I like, you know, maybe read for a change, you know. I think for me a vacation is not doing a whole lot. And catching up on some sleep would be a really good idea. And I guess from that we've got two different sorts of people, right? Those of you who are what I call doer vacationers and uh, I just want to go to one place and stop there. And there are others of you that go, no, we'd like to spend a day here and a day here and then we'll get back in the car and we'll go here for a day and there for a day. And you're probably the same people that like Black Friday. This is dear Mama Sal saying. Just the idea of that made me quite tired. <laughs> Have a wonderful day, everybody. This is Dear Mama Sal saying bye-bye for now.